And um, this is Geraldine. Oh no, I don't like it. I don't like they can see my profile in the mirror. But um, see, I'm gonna have an interesting video. And um, to be honest, I wasn't sure what to name my video today because um, I did a hack in my laundry room. It made such a huge difference because I basically concealed something very, very ugly. I have an AC handler and a water heater. And as you know, it's not the most beautiful thing to look at. It's pretty hideous, to be honest. And you know, my AC handler and my washer heaters in my laundry room. So I named this video the best laundry room hack ever because that's where it's located. And excuse my hair, as you guys know, I'm currently growing it out. <laughs> I'll give you guys a full um, 360 view of my disastrous hair that's currently being grown out. Oh my God, look how bad it looks. Oh, it's so bad. My hair looks so bad. I cannot wait to get my eyelash extensions and my semi-permanent makeup eyeliner tattoo because, you know, because I'm so sick of looking so washed out. I can't stand it. Okay, you switch places. Oh, no. Wait, try to make them switch. Oh, yeah, I just witnessed a miracle. Usually they kill each other if I put them both on my one hand. And check it out. As you guys know, um, I recently got an eyebrow transplant. Well, not recently, it's been about five months now. And you can see I have eyebrows. Cause you know, I overplucked my eyebrows in high school and you overpluck your eyebrows, you destroy them and they just simply won't grow back. So that's why I had to get an eyebrow hair transplant. And I'm still concerned because many hairs, many, many are growing straight out. I mean, they're legit growing straight out, which I am concerned about, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> But I'm, I'm so happy that I even have eyebrows, you guys. So you can see my eyebrows. This is my, this is my left eyebrow. And that's my right eyebrow. <laughs> so. Trying to get like, hey. So that's my left eyebrow. And that's my right eyebrow. Let me tell you, this eyebrow transplant, hair transplant, life-changing. <laughs> it is so life-changing, you guys. Like, if you're someone who has eyebrows, you don't understand. Like, people who have eyebrows don't, they really genuinely, many people, not all people, but some of people who have eyebrows can't comprehend or just don't understand how much it affects you to not have eyebrows. So the fact that I have eyebrows, that I have these on my face, I, I can't even put into words how life-changing and how happy I am to have eyebrows. Like, I'm so happy I have eyebrows. See? I got me some eyebrows. <laughs> I got me some eyebrows. Control myself. He's so cute. Mm. <laughs> okay, enough of that. So I'm gonna show you guys what I modified in my laundry room. It made a huge difference. Okay, so here's the before. And I'm telling you, this is so ugly, you guys. <laughs> when you're like do 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 walking in and do the laundry and then this thing is in view like you can see it all the time it's so atrocious don't you agree it's so ugly <laughs> i can't wait to cover this thing up so bad this thing is so ugly if i could put a torch to it i would totally do it which i i want so i want to cover the water heater and i want to cover this ugly ac and unfortunately i forgot to show you guys this wasn't here i just installed this and the other bracket, and that's gonna be what's gonna hold up the um the blinds I'm gonna put here to cover the washer heater. You know, this uh, AC unit is a bottom filter, so the filter, you remove these clips here on both sides to change the filter, so it's basically sucking the air from down here. So all the air is being, you know, going through here and getting sucked up into the AC unit. So I can't cover the washer heater with something solid because the air has to flow. So my plan is to install these vertical blinds and I'm going to leave them 
kind of open slightly so it still allows air circulation. I have to be able to slide it open. You, you have to dust in here because this gets super duper dusty. I dust this religiously um, at least once a week. And then up here, I'm gonna install a angular shower curtain rod and I'm gonna get this beautiful um, palm tree tropical shower curtain to hide all that. And it's gonna also hide all this ugly crap. <laughs> so yeah, I can't wait. I yeah, That's gonna be interesting. I've never installed a uh, a shower curtain rod like this on on the wall so I'm gonna be curious to see how I, I manage that one and, and some glorious individual decided to put graffiti all over the already ugly <laughs> AC who made it even uglier but um yeah what can you do and stuff like this I have to clean this it just uh, grosses me out and I'm gonna make all this look uh, newer and I'm gonna have this replaced so it this is actually this AC is only uh, less than two years old and it looks like crap already <laughs> oh my gosh you guys I finally after several hours I'm embarrassed to admit how long this thing took me to install but it literally took me a few hours <laughs> it was just a nightmare because you know I had to modify this because you know, I had to cut the pole here and on the other side, and I kind of messed up here. I had to drill a hole here, and I forgot I'm not supposed to drill the hole through it, so this little thing here, it's not supposed to be there, but luckily, I think that's going to be hidden quite well. And I also, I'm going to finish taking white masking tape and, you know, hiding that, because I don't like the walls, I mean the holes in the wall. <laughs> okay, guys. Oops. Stay there, Jolene. So here's the after. As you, guys, as you guys can see, I cover that ugly water heater with those vertical blinds. And there's Geraldine and there's Cuckoonut. And I hit that hideous AC handler with this tropical shower curtain. Unfortunately, I didn't cut the, the size of the shower curtain correctly. It's a little bit too long. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut a few more inches off of this uh, that way. And that's why it won't you know, stick out like that. So when I fix the shower curtain, because right now it's way too large, unfortunately, that's why it's all looking all funky like that, but that's easy to fix. But here's the after of my modification, my D I Y modification <laughs> and as you guys know I'm obsessed with flip-flops I love that uh, flip-flop repair shop <laughs> I'm obsessed with tropical things as you guys have may have noticed but I think it made a huge difference because this used to be a pocket door which I had to remove I can't stand pocket doors and all this is gonna be fixed I don't want a pocket door at all so this thing is my laundry room which is completely open so I'm staying at my front door right now, so the second someone walks into my condo, they immediately see my laundry room. And then, you know, they used to see the hideous water heater and that butt-ugly AC handler, which I was not a fan of. But, oh my gosh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys the final product once I fix the size of this, because right now it's not looking like the way it's supposed to look. Because like I said, the shower curtain is way too large. I need to, you can see here, it's, it's too long. But I love tropical things so much, you guys. I don't know about you guys, but um, when I see tropical things, it's just like, I don't know, it's very um, pleasant to look at, in my opinion. So that was my favorite uh, laundry room modification. And like I said, I don't know if this is supposed to be called a laundry room modification or not, but um. My AC handler and my water heater is in my laundry room, so that's why I'm naming this video Laundry Room Hack. And here's my bird's um, flight suit collection. This is where I keep their um, harnesses and flight suits, whatever you want to call them. And then... Over here I have some random crap for the laundry room. And that's my sunglasses, and that's where I keep my keys. And I love this thing, it's like a cool um, kind of texture. It's kind of like a Caribbean tropical wicker style, I guess you could call it. And then I have my um, 
I'm obsessed with dimmers. I installed this myself and, you know, because he wants to be blasted and blinded when they turn the lights on. I, I, I love dimmers. I have dimmers installed in every single room <laughs> in this condo. And I love it because, you know, you can't see the screws because I'm not a fan of seeing the screws. So thank gosh, I, I love that. It looks a much cleaner look. And oh no, I just realized I have to fix that. This is my favorite washer and dryer in the whole world. It's the Speed Queen. And this is like hands down the best brand in the entire world if you're looking for a quality washer and dryer. Because all this modern washer and dryers I'm not a fan of. But this old school stuff is like amazing. I love it. Well, anyways, that was my um, DIY project in my laundry room. I think it turned out great. Do you guys think that it's so much more pleasant now that the ugly water heater and AC handler is basically completely hidden? I think it made a huge difference. Anywho, hope you guys enjoyed the video and that you guys are having a great weekend. And um, Geraldine and Cuckoo Nut will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. Good night.